Hello, this is Anthony once again with Honda Snowblower Enthusiasts on YouTube. Today I want to talk about your Honda Snowblower not blowing snow. Pretty common question, uh, you know, other than a no start issue or a hard start issue. This is one of the most common questions we will receive in the wintertime. So let's go through it. But I always say uh, go for the simplest uh, cause first and work your way up. So there's only three or four different reasons why you'd stop blowing snow. Let's go through them. Okay, here's a machine with the augers in it. <clears throat> if you picked up something big, uh, an extension cord or a big chunk of ice or a rock or a piece of wood or whatever, it's possible that you broke both auger shear pins at the same time. It doesn't happen very often, but that's the first thing I would check. Here's your little shear pin for your auger right here. You want to check both sides. With the engine off, of course, you want to pull on your auger and see if it spins freely. If it spins freely, then you know you know you broke the pin. A lot of times it's hard to tell. You know, you got a lot of snow and ice in there. So I give this a little bit of tug. You can see that it's not spinning freely. This side's not spinning freely also. So that's the first thing you will check. If, you're, if your machine stopped blowing snow. Now, the usual culprit is the impeller shear pin right here. This is your blower or your impeller. Something gets past the augers, you know, a big chunk of ice, pine cone or rock or something. It jams up your impeller and this pin breaks. Which is a good thing, actually. You want you want a four dollar pin to break rather than your transmission or your final drive gearbox. So your augers may still be spinning, uh, but uh, your impeller is not spinning. So a lot of times this is the reason. So for four bucks you can get back on the road, so to speak. So that would be nice. I mean, it's either. Either the best case scenario is your shear pins on your augers break at the same time or your impeller uh, uh, shear pin breaks. All right, let's move up the line a little bit. You've already checked the shear pins and everything seems to be okay. Oh, before I forget, sometimes, you know, you can look, you can look in here and see the shear pin in there, but if the shear pin's broken inside, it's 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 not going to spin that that happens sometimes it might you know the pin the the head might fall out and then you see you see the knot and you see this part of the pin he says oh i'm okay and try to clean out the snow and ice so you can see both sides okay because i've seen that people have brought the machines over here and part of the pin's missing and that's why the, the impeller wasn't turning all right let's move up the line a little bit You've already checked your shear pins, and they, they're okay. The next thing you want to check, you want to take your your belt cover off. Uh, you got four little bolts. Here's your auger belt. Now, the auger belt could be blown. It could be broken. Or could have, it could have came off for some reason. You know, I don't know how, but sometimes they do they do pull off. But, you know, after you've checked your shear pins, this is the next thing to check. Just check your, uh, your auger belt. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, sometimes it's obvious. If you have your, here's your auger handle, you see how this, this got some resistance to it? I shouldn't assume that, that you checked this already. But if this is really loose, that's probably the red flag, okay? This is this is where your cable is connected. And what it does is it, it can you see that? It pulls in your idler wheel to engage your belt. Now, it could be a broken cable from either end. It could be broken down here where it connects to that spring. Can you see that spring? The top of the spring sometimes breaks where the cable connects to the spring. So I've seen that 
several times. This gentleman's uh, machine, he had no drive, and the spring had broken. See the top of the spring? That's a brand new spring right there. The top of the spring where it connects to the cable had broken. So it could happen on this spring too, where the spring, the top of the spring hook broke off. So if your handle's really loosey goosey, you want to check both ends of your cables. You see where the cables go in here. Let's see if I can show you. The cables go in inside. They're connected right there. The cable might have broken from this end. Or the cable could have broken from the other end. Down here where it connects to the spring. So that's, that's the other thing that you check. Now you've checked everything like that. And then usually... It's one of these four or five things, your auger um, shear pins, your impeller shear pin. If your cable, if your handle is loose, then you would check the, the cable ends and check to see if the spring is still uh, working up and down. It might be broken at the hook. And then of course you would, when you take off the bell cover, this would be obvious if it had come off or broken. So that's how you diagnose a, 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 a Honda snowblower that's not blowing snow. It's going to happen many, many times this winter. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. I appreciate you people watching and subscribing to the channel if this helps you. I thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.